Hey guys, D Mike here. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Super Mario Odyssey. Last time we landed in the Wooded Kingdom, danced around with the T Rex, played with our nuts, and today we're gonna get that bouquet of flowers. So, as they mentioned in the previous episode, you do have the ability to use these flower pathways to make your way across these various obstacles. I'm assuming this is probably where a moon is. Looks a little cumbersome. There it is. Oops. We still have a uh, little bit of work to do with moon gathering. So I need four. Usually a fight with the Brutals will net us at least three from the oop, from the multi-moon. There we go. Can I get down there? Thank you. Does that just loop around? I'd like to have that. No! Okay, just a little, you know, tutorial on falling boxes. If you're not viewers, we still have 107.9 lives. We're doing great. We'll head back that way. I don't really have a huge penchant for gathering all of those area-specific coins. I mean, it's cool to do it because you can get the little rewards. We're running faster than this. Catch up! Where's your flower power at? A little bit of photosynthesis to go a long way. All right, so I think this is probably the direction we need to go inside this cave. The Sky Garden Tower, yes. It's time to get high using these plants. Just remember, don't get high off your own supply. Whoop. And we have these onion boys wearing bucket hats. I don't know if I need to get up here this way or not. Maybe. This is one of those areas that's just kind of fun to explore. There is a nice little kind of mechanical aesthetic going on here. There's a power shroom if you need it. I will definitely be grabbing that because of how crap I am at this game, of course. Is there anything above this? Oh, this just kind of loops around. That's nice. Whoop. Oh, there's coins over here. Didn't even see these. Can I get there from here? Nope, you need to... You gotta double up. These little platforms kind of remind me of... Um... Well, I'm doing really poorly. Um... They kind of remind me of the... Platforms from Boomer Quanger's stage in Mega Man X a little bit. The ones that you have to... Use, like, the charged-up ice power to get across. Hopefully that's not too deep of a cut. The second series of Super Nintendo Sundays, which if you've caught the most recent episode, that was episode 91. Wow. We can stretch further. How time has flown. Oop, I'm not going to make that. I'm doing very poorly at this. There's probably a much better, cleaner, harder, better, faster, stronger version of doing this approach, but I am not uh, doing that. I think there's actually a moon in here. Whoa. Kind of butt-stomped that on un unintentionally. Got that nut in our bottom. Very good. And I think the flowers will just continue to replenish over time. Do I need you? What is the point of you? Story of my life. All right. Do little, little baby bunny hops here. Zoop. Okay, and as far as I... Oop, there's one up here. As far as I know, this is the, um... This is all that you're gonna do in this tower. It's, I don't think there's any... I think we maxed it out. Nothing hidden, I believe. I like the little moons on the ground. That one kind of looks like a banana. One of my favorite fruits. Ooh, okay. So they just spit you out right here into the, uh, into the boss fight. Interesting. I remember at one point I did try to convince myself that there was more to this area than there really is. I don't believe so. I tried to like... Oh, that's a little bit of... Uh, is there anything over here? Like, is it worth it, viewers? Do I... Do I... Do I do it? I'm gonna do it. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. Oh, well, we're down here now. We are here now for the rest of our lives. And the rest of our 107.9 lives. Probably just gonna fall accidentally and die. Oh, is this gonna put me in the down below? No, hopefully it doesn't do that. I think that this is a flag that when you hit it, it checkpoints you up here. But I do still have a 
a hankering for knowing what that L means. Is that a hidden... I'm not trying to backflip. Gosh darn it. Alright, let's try to do a triple jump. Okay. Is this anything? Is this just me being dumb? Probably. Ooh, yeah, well, you know what? Look. There is something over here. This music. Aside from, like, the weird Goofy Brutals fanfare, this music is... If you can hear it, I'll be quiet for a second. It does kind of remind me of, like, when you are in caution mode for Metal Gear Solid, and they're coming for you. They're always coming. All right. So, to get back, what do we do? Oh, there's hidden coins over here. Uh... Can I backflip onto the structure and then... I still don't know how to do that cap, toss, gather thing. I'm, I'm, I'm learning it. And by that I mean I haven't done the research and so I don't want you to get mad at me. Alright. Okay, well, you know what, let's just go ahead and... I don't want to start over, so we're just gonna woo! Bye! Bye, Mario! Bye! Don't worry. We will replenish our stockpile of coins. That is never really worried. Worrisome for me in this game, at least. All right, let's do it. Let's go head to head. Which one is it today? I think we fought the green one, the yellow one. Chumps? Excuse you, they have the soiree bouquet. It's the blue one now. Okay. Oh, is this the one that spits the goo out? Yes. It's the goo boy. Mr. Goo boy. Oops. Okay. What? What happened to my... I could have sworn I had... Oh, it's because I died. Oh. Well, there goes my... Uh... My power... Oh, that... oh, that's nice. My power heart. You can get a pretty good amount of coins every time you knock these boys out. But this one is a little bit of a geometry nerd. Making shapes on the ground. Illuminati, perhaps. Ooh. It's kind of a cool logo for like a uh, an EDM artist or a cryptocurrency person. That was a pretty easy fight, though. No more blue bunny for you. See ya, chump. Who's the chump now? Now, I do believe, because of our efforts, that was not the coolest way to grab that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We have plenty to move on to the next area. I was a little overindulgent in the first episode of this wooded kingdom, so... Oops. It also dates me immediately when you can see when I record these. I don't know why they put that in the game. It feels too real. The immersion is broken. Okay, well, that was good though. Path to the seek. Wait, oh, there's more? What? I thought we were done. How do I get up there? Uh. Apparently, you did, Cappy, and it's super cool that they sped us all the way back here. That's fun. I'm kind of curious though. Oh, I think there's actually a boss. I'm curious what you can actually- <laughs> Spend money capitalism! I'm curious what you can buy with your things. Little Dr. Mario suit? That's nice. <laughs> a strange piece of headwear that gives off a sciencey vibe. For all you people in the, med in the medicine field out there, um, how often do you get to wear your visor? Does it give you a sciencey vibe? The Wooded Kingdom sticker? It looks like Rob the Robot, also E.T. Um, a bouquet of flowers and then a steam garden or watering can. So, yeah, pretty much every one of these little crazy cap shops will have um, some sort of knickknack, riffraff, shenanigans that you can choose to buy or not. Whatever you're into. I typically don't just because I don't really care, but it's not without saying... Ooh, now things are getting a little gnarly. It's not without saying that if you can, you should. Now we can play a little bit of tanks. Does anybody remember Wii Play? What a great game for the Wii. Um, 
when I was in uh, post-secondary education, I remember playing Wii Play all, oops, all the time, oops, all the, how do I get out of you? Okay, I didn't mean to destroy it. I just forgot the buttons. It's been a hot minute since I played. Pull the lever to receive a seed. You can pull my lever and receive my, okay. Okay. I think I made that joke last time too. I'm very original. Here on DMike Plays, we pride ourselves on the jokes we make being one of a kind and all of a kind. Okay, cool. Can I use this to get into that spot? I don't know what this leads to. We were going way the heck up here. How do you, how do I expect you to get that? Uh, yeah, I mean, if I could, if I learned how to do that cap job, I probably would be able to figure it out, but oops. Oops. Yeah, we do have plenty of uh, additional moons to have completed this. No, I should stop doing this. Let's just climb it normal. The adverbs in action. Okay. Yeah, I, I guess the game, the brutal fight is not the, uh, it's not the end. The end is not the end. Okay. So this is something I was alluding to previously in the, um, in the late kingdom, excuse me is that there are occasionally these moments where you are trying to woo a Goombat. I don't know why they put it in here like this, but it's a weird little mechanic that I think is cheesy and not really with the time. Maybe she just really likes her hat. Kinda looks like Carmen San Diego, but she will give you a moon. I'm not entirely sure how, like, what the exchange here is, but then when you admit to not being a Goomba anymore, she, uh, becomes very disenfranchised. <laughs> that always makes me laugh, so. We have, we have stolen her love. She has been catfished by Mario. Goomba-fished. Don't do that, people. I have strong feelings about how that is not a cool thing to do. The recharge station is crowded. What's going on? Can we open this up if we butt stomp it? Yes, we can. Two recharge stations available. Go charge your electric car very pretentiously. Or not. Charge it not pretentiously. Just charge it like a normal person and don't tell the world. Okay. So where does the game want me to go? I know that I want to get back up there. This little kind of side section is opened up upon completion of the brutal fight, obviously. But yeah, you can assume comic warfare here and avoid your tank brother. And let's just go ahead and take him out. Blap! Got him. I think I do still want to give myself room. I mean, I don't think that it matters. I think that the structures provided are plenty for you to navigate and probably helps if you take out more stuff than less so we'll do that peep around the corner real quick what's over there what's over there viewers let's find out this looks harrowing okay full disclosure Butthole completely clenched with every button click. Oh no, I have done it. Okay, um. How did I, oh boy. Um, I don't know where I'm at. I don't think I can get back up there in an easy way. All for coins, viewers. I got greedy. And here I am. That's what capitalism does to you. It makes you greedy, but this is kind of cool. I guess I can show this off briefly. Is when you get running up a slope like this, kind of like in the Sand Kingdom, when you run down, Mario's like, wee! 
full Naruto to run or Naruto. I'm not a um Unfortunately, I did not, I guess, depending upon how you feel about it, I don't have any sort of uh, penchant or knowledge of this series. So if I said it wrong, that's probably why. But I do find it funny that that's kind of how Mario runs. And also, I believe Sonic. All right, so that's kind of annoying. I essentially have to reset a little bit on where I was going. Where did I go? Oh, do they? Oh, yeah, it's one of these things. We're actually gonna need to have, grab one of these in a moment. Oh boy. Okay, well, that's not, that's not an ideal way of using these flowers, but when you do grab them, wee! look at me. Okay, that's a good way to stop yourself is just to courageously run into a wall or a tree. Can I help you? We need assistance. Okay. Oh, this is the way that I did go. All right, all right. Viewers, we're back. But we're not all the way back. I gotta go and do this little diddly-do again. Oops. Oh, no. Is this taking me back to a spot that I don't want to go to? No. Viewers, it has been the hottest of minutes since I've played this game. You can go back for yourselves and you want for some reason um you can go back and check the timestamps on whenever i did my previous episodes and this one is very far behind okay where is the what are you saying to me oh i went the wrong way i'm getting confused surprising hmm all right let's climb this long shaft is there a way to get up here like it doesn't really seem like, I mean, if, if there is, whenever I figure out how to do the one thing, then yes. But until that moment happens, probably not. Feel free to chime in on how to do that. I guess I could just look it up, but. That would require effort, viewers, and all my effort is put into making this illustrious con content for all of you. All right. Whoop, there we go. Goomba Tower is still wooing. The Lady Goomba. Zoop. What happens if I get up here? What's up here? Ooh, there's a rocket. Excuse me? And it has a mustache? Okay, I'm all aboard that. This is a bonus. If you couldn't have figured it out. Some of these bonuses are platforming dependent. Some of them are collect stuff dependent. In this case, obviously, we will be acquiring in a very foggy area. Why is the cloud cover so low? Who knows? We will be acquiring five of these moon chips. And there's probably a hidden moon around here somewhere too. We will find, ooh, we'll find a doll. Oh no. I don't know how to do the thing. All right. Hopefully this just checkpoints me at the beginning of this. I really need to learn how to do that technique because I would probably be much better off. Okay. We are back to it. We're doing fine. There are Paragoombas up here, I saw them. That's what these boys are called with the wings. And I do believe we're going to need to acquire their services for the time being. This is not the only place you'll find Paragoombas, by the way. They are prevalent in a few of the different areas here. And of course they can fly, which is very convenient. I don't know if I really care for this whole fog thing. It kind of makes me feel like I'm in, um, like Silent Hill, where, you know, allegedly they claim that the reasoning for the foggy environment of Silent Hill is because the play estate, the play station, the play station, the PlayStation 1's draw distance wasn't very good. So, All right, where am I going? It's the platform I landed on. I think there's more stuff over here. It looked like it was materializing as I flew this way. I can't really see that. Apologies if this hurts your eyes, viewers. I do not know where I'm going. Oh, that's the wall. Uh, I don't, 
And I'm assuming that, you know, in my current flight pattern, that this is endless flight, although I do feel like I'm just flying into a void. I don't know. Okay, there's more of you over here. Is this just me getting con I mean, you know, leave it to me to get confused here. Entirely possible that I'm going the complete wrong way. I feel like I already murdered one of you, so... What is this way? Oops. This is fun, right? Enjoying this mechanic? I don't know where that final chip is. And I can't see a gosh darn thing. This is what happens when you live in like a country area when it gets really hot the night before and then uh, the next day it's cold in the mor cooled, cold in the morning. Okay, this is more of a wall. Yeah, I do not like this. I'm like getting really disoriented because I don't know, there's no visual cues really beyond the wall here as to which direction I should be going. This feels like it's probably just like one big circle. Game, why are you doing this to me? This episode is going to be predicated entirely on me um, getting lost in this void as a paragoomba. Oh, I'm not enjoying myself, I'll tell you that. This is not enjoyable in the slightest. Is it in here? Can you just give it to me? Where else can I go? All right, so like, there's two of you boys here, right? There's this. Is it just straight ahead? I don't know where else. Okay. To say this sucks is an understatement. Um. The game is like, don't go under there, you'll die. Okay. Here? Kind of like the the maze puzzle of Link's Awakening, sort of, except for not a maze and not uh, that's completely visible the entire time, unlike this. I do not enjoy. I'm gonna go ahead and just kill myself and reset because I don't like this. We're not having fun. We're not enjoying ourselves. Okay. So there's got to be one more moon chip, obviously. Wait, is it up there? Or is that just coins? I cannot tell. I would need to be a pair of Goomba to figure it out. Now I'm wondering if it wants me to backtrack. And maybe it's up there. Incredibly unclear. Let's try it. Alright, so... Let's just gingerly... And it's, it's like more foggy now. Like, I don't understand it. Is it up here? Back in the original spot? Looks like this might be somewhere good. Okay. Uh, about as clear as mud here. Okay, is this not where I was? Yeah. Oh, they just respawn. Oh. Okay. Is it below? Like... Something under here, maybe? Like... Okay. Yeah, this is... This is, um... Miserable. I don't know why they... Why they decided... I mean, I, I'm obviously just stupid, so... Oh, is it under here? Oh my gosh. What a turdish thing to do, game. Wow. I spent way too much time on this. Viewers, apologies. I'm very sorry. Wow, wandering in the fog. More like sucks in the sucks. Yeah, that's it. You heard it. Let's get the heck out of here. I didn't enjoy that at all. You can go and die. All right, here we go. Now, I don't remember... Where was I going? They said... Back this... Ooh, there's coins up there, too. 
Probably would be nice to know the technique, but I don't. I don't know the technique. Or I can just jump over here. Ooh. Well, backflip? Huh? Yeah. How you like bib apples, viewers? Ooh, got a nice amount of coins. Viewers, look. Indulge. This is kind of like a nice atmosphere. Um, I don't know if any of you enjoy like hiking or going out into nature, but you should. It's good for your health. Get that vitamin D from the old big ball of fire in the sky. Hiking in like an area that's kind of um, like kind of mountainy. It's a really horrible like that's not an adjective. Um, but yeah, go hiking in like the mountains or just some place that's like really heavily wooded where no matter even if it's a hot day outside because of all the tree cover and whatnot, it'll still be kind of cool outside. That is something I would heavily recommend. All right, so we were boot scoot goofing earlier with these um, little speed plants. We need to actually use them to get up to the next area. Is that exactly what you're about to tell me? Say something. Yeah, so time for some performance enhancing plants. Whee! Yeah, you gotta use these to get up there, which I'm assuming there's probably something in that little alcove, which we will explore here in a moment, because I am stubborn. All right, so if you just run up this side, whee! There's another bone. Oh boy, viewers. This episode is just jam packed full of just absolute terrors for me. Okay, so I'm assuming before we grab the tank. Oh wait, that's caged off. I bet we can probably blow the bars off. There we go. I don't know what is happening. Oh yeah, just gotta go ahead and genocide these guys. Sorry about your luck. Bye. They're coming, huh? This was a little mean. Is that all this is? Is just like a killing spree? Killing spree. I might have to wipe these boys out. Whoa. Yeah, these controls are not great. And I am not doing great with the not great controls. Oops. Tank controls, am I right? Actually, I don't think these are tank controls. These are just regular bog standard me being dumb controls. What do you... Can't always tell, like, the, the reticle where I'm firing, it, like, doesn't always seem to really be going the way that I asked it to. There's a couple of you boys up here, isn't there? Alright, these are destructible. These poo bricks. There's the star. Oh, that's not a star, that's a moon. The elevator escalation. Great, is there another... There's probably definitely another moon somewhere else that I have since neglected because of my insistence on going as fast as I can. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go quest. Quick, fast, same word. Get in that tube, Mario. I did hit ZR because I'm a, uh, I'm a rebel. Okay, that was great. Uh, you probably can achieve, if I had to assume, another moon out of that, so. Do not share its location or we will murder you. Some more bricks down there. Oh yeah, I remember this. It's all coming back, viewers. We have a little bit of an obstacle course here. And we have to blow off the Bowser signs. Oops, get out of my way, please. Make sure you're dodging. You don't want to get hit in the face of these big old balls. We have to knock off all four of these. Thankfully, you can kind of rapid fire a bit. There it is. Oh, you get a moon out of that. I thought this just opened up the area. Ooh, this is an important one. This is Storm Moon. It's going to be a long episode just because I got so kerfubbled in that uh, foggy area like a ding dong. All right, Cappy, let's do it. Open it up. Secret flower field, here we come. Defend it? First we find it and now we have to defend it. Are we being paid overtime for this? 
I don't think we're supposed to know where this stuff is, and now that we do, the game's just like, all right, you gotta take care of this. Whee! Plummeting to our death. It's fun. Okay. This, my friends, is the boss of the Secret Flower Field. This is... Uh... Suckatron. It will occasionally spit out these boys, which you need to... Oops. Become adversarial. Did I not do enough? Let's go ahead and smack it on the bottom. Show us your good side. Must have all the flowers. Must like me when it comes to pizza rolls. Must have all the pizza rolls. That's a robot. Oh. Oh, it's mad. Okay. So, this fight with Suckatron is not hard. You have to go and smash open these bricks in the center quadrant. In doing so, makes them very susceptible to damages. Boop, there you go. And then it's going to uh, spit out one of these boys. These concentric circles that you need to Use your flippy boy powers with your nut to jump over top. And I believe it becomes a rinse and repeat. So, a little bit of different construction of the bricks. I actually was not in the middle of that one, so it was a little generous. Blop, got him. Just like that. Thanks for the positive reinforcement, Cappy. What a bro. Hats off to you. Just make sure you don't get hit by any of these because then you'll have to refine your nut. Nobody wants to have to refine their nut. Okay. And I don't know if it's gonna, if the laser beams that it fires out are supposed to be creating chaos, but I don't really feel like any part of this is difficult at all. This is honestly probably one of the easiest boss fights in the entire game. And as such, we have destroyed it. That's what you get. That sucks. Huh, got him. And the multi-moon is ours. The second multi-moon of the day. Not often you get two in one episode. Whee! I forgot that there was actually a boss fight to this one. I don't think all the areas have them. I mean, they have the brutal fights, which are considered like the story boss fights, but then some of them have location-dependent boss fights. So we have successfully defended the flower field. Finally. Fortuitously. With friendship. Boop, 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 boop. We did it. Okay. And then, uh... Mmm, smell... That's actually me tooting. Cappy. And then, uh, yeah, next time, we will, uh... We have more than that. Thank you. Um... Next time, we will embark on a new location. Thanks for watching, everybody. I've been D-Mike. This has been Super Mario Odyssey, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Okay.